Good morning, my brothers, my kingdom men family. It's the second day of our first fruit fast, and it happens to be Sunday. So listen, um, I'm going to make this as fast as possible. Uh, what God put in my heart to speak to you about is the word discernment. And where in, in the Bible does it talk about this a lot? Well, Paul talks about discernment a lot in the book of Hebrews, and not only discernment, but he talks about Christianity. He talks about um, death. He talks about our souls and spirituality and whatnot. And in chapter five, more in particular, it talk, you'll hear the term or you'll read the term meat. He's not talking about actual meat. He's talking about in the spiritual realm, good, good and evil, how to discern between the two. Because a lot of the times, especially in ministry, we're under attack so much that sometimes we could probably lose sight of who we're actually hearing from, who the, you, you know? So my suggestion, and I'm suggesting this out of love because I went through something like this a couple of years ago. So when I first read Hebrews, I couldn't discern. I thought they were talking about the meat. That's the sign of an immature Christian. But when I read it this time, well, it jumped out at me differently. I knew that he was talking about exactly what I just said, good versus evil and how to discern. So that tells me that although I am not, you know, the the most knowledgeable Christian that there is, it's telling me that there's a progression um, with regards to moving towards a better time in my walk, a more mature time. And we just have to not get discouraged when things come along and just pray more so for discernment and clarity, especially walking into this October fast, because the enemy doesn't want what's going down in November up there on top of that hill. So the attacks are going to come and I'm normally not one. I don't give feed too much into, you know, the devil and his trickery, but I'm not, I'm not sitting here saying that it's not going to happen, that it's not going to affect any of us because it is. But what are we going to do when it does? We're going to have to pray and drop down, stay in unity. We're going to have to discern. We're, we're going to have to grow, stretch ourselves. Even when it seems that it, it's just uncomfortable that we can't move forward. I've been there. I've been there recently. And I'm being vulnerable with you. But I was called. So with that being said, just pray. And I, I love you guys and I miss you all. And um, pray for that discernment. Pray for that uh, that clarity because it's going to come in handy during this walk, especially going into October. All right, men. I love you. Got to go. Um, I'm back up north, so hopefully I'll see you in church this morning. Love you.